I've been asked this question a lot. So did I have to pay for emergency surgery? The emergency surgery was for my ruptured breast implants and I had to have them taken out within a week of finding out. I am in Australia, so I can only speak on being here and my experience of what I had to pay. I had to pay for my, sur my emergency surgery. The only way it would be free is if I rung for an ambulance and they took me and they did emergency surgery there. But what my surgeon said is that she wouldn't recommend that because all they're going to do is get those implants out and they're not going to worry about what you look like at the end of it. I had to have a muscle reconstruction because the implant was underneath my muscle. So the muscle had to be sewn back onto my chest wall. And then also she needed to make sure that all the silicone was out of my lymph nodes that had leaked through and leaked through my chest wall. So she had to scrape my ribs and my chest wall to get all that silicone off. If you go into emergency surgery and it's paid for by Medicare, all they want to do is get those silicone implants out. So you then you will be left with the toxins still in your body. I also want to note that because uh, it, they were cosmetic, even though I got them done over 10 years ago, they um, MRIs I had to pay for. Um, I didn't get anything back on Medicare. I also, the whole operation, I think I got $200 back from Medicare, which is crazy considering this is emergency surgery and I had to have it done. It, my health was a risk, um, but because I'd made the choice to have cosmetic implants, even though I didn't, I didn't make the choice for them to rupture, I had to pay for it out of my own pocket. And I'm not even going to start about my private health and what they covered, but I would say get private health for your hospital cover for sure.